2005, you'll recall the Kansas State School Board made national news for its decision to teach intelligent design alongside evolution in public school science classes. That debate spawned a third theory to explain why things are the way they are. It was the doctrine of the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. The theory, the religious belief that a big spaghetti monster and he alone created mountains and trees and... I'm sorry, I'm quoting from scripture here, a quote, midget. The monster made the trees and the mountains and the midget. Uh, the guy who brought this religion to light uh, was a man named Bobby Henderson, then a 25-year-old student at Oregon State University. In a letter to the Kansas School Board, he insisted that if intelligent design was to be made a part of the curriculum, then the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster had to be there too. He said, quote, we have evidence that a flying spaghetti monster created the universe. None of us, of course, were around to see it, but we have written accounts of it. Henderson also gave specific instructions on how his church's beliefs were to be taught in schools. He said it is disrespectful to teach our beliefs without wearing his chosen outfit, which of course is full pirate regalia. Oh God, oh God, please don't kill me. I didn't know I was over near Tortuga offered an explanation for some of the woes that afflict mankind. Global warming, earthquakes, hurricanes, and other natural disasters are a direct effect of the shrinking numbers of pirates since the 1800s. It's all very funny as satire, of course, but as good satire is, it was also a sort of perfectly brilliant challenge to the notion that if you are going to say science doesn't matter, science is not more valuable than religion, science is not more provable than religion, science is just one belief among many, if you're going to say that religion has to be taught alongside science, then who can judge what counts as worthy religion? The whole spaghetti monster theory sort of caught on. Just last year, siblings in Tennessee built this statue of the flying spaghetti monster and got permission to put it in front of a courthouse in a free speech zone alongside a statue of Jesus and Moses and some chainsaw carved bears like the ones I have in my yard. What's the reason to bring up the spaghetti monster today, other than the fact that I like pasta along with my evolutionary discussion? Well, the new Gallup poll shows that... 39% of Americans say they, quote, believe in the theory of evolution. A quarter say they do not believe in it, and 36% they do not. 36% say they do not have an opinion. What would Charles Darwin think of all this? But it's really good. I got a lot of 